So let's talk about some topics relating to Tehran's theorem. Tehran's theorem. Oh, sorry, no accent over the A, it seems. Now, what is Tehran's theorem? Well, it says that if we have a graph G with n vertices, and it and it contains no k vertices, any two of which are connected by an edge, which is a k click, then G contains, well, G has at most this many edges. Plus R choose two, where Where R is the, the remainder when uh, N is divided by K plus 1. K minus 1, sorry. Not K plus 1. So uh, first of all, and furthermore, this is so to see that this is why this is the bound we want, um, let's write n as this. And this is n is a positive integer, k is a positive integer, k is greater than or equal to 2. So let's write n like this. Uh, Q and R are integers, uh, negative integers, I guess. And then we break the n vertices up into k minus 1 groups, the first R of which contain Q plus 1 vertices each, and then the rest of which contain Q each. So pretty much as equal sized as possible. And then we connect two vertices with an edge, if and only if they're not in the same group. So no edges in here, but all these edges are drawn. Or from here to here, say. Any two that are not in the same group are connected by an edge. But no two in the same group are connected by an edge. So. And now, how many edges do we have? Well, let's see. We have n choose two total ways to choose two vertices. But then we have to make sure that we're not choosing two from the same group to choose for our two endpoints of an edge. So we get this. And using this equation, I suppose, oh no, sorry. There should be furthermore minus n, no, k minus 1 minus r times q choose 2. And it can be verified that these are equal. But this is just basically what you get by doing this. This is, I suppose, one of those times when the actual bound isn't so important as the construction giving the bound. So sort of intuitively, we want groups that are equal sized as possible. It doesn't really matter what the actual answer is. Now, how do we prove this, le now, how do we prove this theorem? Well, as in many great theorems, we need a lemma. Do 
two to Zarin Kiewitz, or I'm not quite sure how that's pronounced. The apostrophe S is just for the possessive. This is the name. So it is uh, G is a graph and vertices, no K click, as in the hypotheses. But then the lemma is, then there exists a vertex with degree less than or equal to the floor of k minus 2 over k minus 1 times n, the floor of that. Proof? Suppose not. Suppose, so proof by contradiction. Then every vertex, then the, for every vertex, the degree is strictly greater than this. But it's an integer, meaning the degree is greater than that. Now, pick a vertex. And pick one of its neighbors. It must have a neighbor. Otherwise, it would have degree 0. Now, how many vertices are left over for us to count when we're counting neighbors? So let's, no, let's, try, to, let's try to just build a k-click basically in as stupid of a way as possible, just building on one vertex at a time. So looking at these two, this one is adjacent. So like I, I claim by induction that for each L, if we have an L click, then there is some vertex in the graph not in the L click that is adjacent to all of them. Um, and I, th I believe this is correct. Let me just check that. Okay, so basically, if we have an L click, lots of things all connected. My stuff, so on. Um, and now, how many, how many ver uh, vertices in the graph are not neighbors of this one? So, we have the, since there are n vertices in the graph, and there are strictly greater than this many vertices that are adjacent to it, there are less than this many vertices that are not adjacent to it. OK? And then we take each vertex, take the set of vertices that are not adjacent to it. Well, this can't, then we have L of these sets. So the set of vertices, the number of vertices in the graph that are not adjacent to at least one of these is strictly less than this. But we said L is less than or equal to, actually, this is, this is not, I'm, I haven't gotten to the induction part yet. This is just, if we have an L-click, we can add one on. So then, so there are strictly less than this many vertices that are not adjacent to, that for which there is, for which one of these vertices is not adjacent to it, but this is less than or equal to n. So not all of the vertices in the graph are unattached to at least one of these. So there's some vertex left over that is adjacent to all of these. And this must be a new vertex, because if it were any of these, then we would have to have an edge from a vertex to itself, which is not allowed. So we must be able to add one on, which is that. So we've proven that, it, like assuming this. But now. We just take any vertex, because we assumed n is positive, and then just induct from here. 
to get a two click and a three click, or however far it goes. until we've gotten to L equals k minus 1, just like applying what we just proved. And then from here, we can even apply it once more to get to L equals k. So now we have a k-click, which is a contradiction, because we assumed there was no k-click. So we've proven the lemma. So basically, we just said, OK, we can just build a k-click in the stupidest way possible. So we've proven this lemma. And this actually means that we are basically done. Um, to prove this expression, we just say, OK, since it is k free, there must be some vertex with this with at most this degree. Now use induction. Oh, the base case of n equals 1 is trivial. Uh, right. Yes. Because then r, if k equals 2, then this equals 0 and this equals 0. So we can have 0 edges in a one vertex graph. Otherwise, r will equal 1, and these will still both equal 0. So the base case of any, we induct on n. So the base case of n equals 1 is trivial. Now the inductive step. So we can write this as n minus ceiling of this, I think should be correct, right? And then, so we take it out. Take out a vertex of at most this degree, and then use induction on the remaining graph. Now, if n, if k minus 1 divides n, then we want, we're trying to prove this bound, because 0 choose 2 equals 0. And then we know that the original, that the graph we get when we take that out has at most this many edges by the inductive hypothesis. And then we're adding on this, which in this case turns out to be an integer. So we know that the, new gra the full graph has at most this many edges. And it can be checked that those are equal. Or we don't have that. I, I'm omitting some computations, but that, that can be checked. Oh, the other case is that we don't have that, in which case we'll get this. We know that it has a, at least this many edges. And now we know this is not an integer. This is not an integer. So we can write it as and then this is and then when we add this on we can do computations to get this more omitted computations. But that's just computations. So that is the proof of Turan's theorem. So and that's all I have for today. You can follow me on Twitter. Thank you.